So the challenge first was to do individual justice to both the disciplines. Uh, when it came to writing, uh, it was important. I was attempting a romantic comedy. So it was very essential for me that I uh, do not uh, follow any cliches which come, uh, which have already been seen in Indian cinema. But yet at the same time, uh, maintain the commercial aspects of cinema which I've grown up watching. Uh, then when it came to direction, uh, what was important is what I had written to ensure that I can uh, completely translate that on screen. Uh, I was working with actors Varun and Alia who at that time were one film old and I was very, uh, it was important that every dialogue or every uh, nuance that I've written in the script, I'm able to uh, help direct, that, uh, direct them and bring it on to camera. So I think that was really the dual challenge of uh, writing your own film as well as directing it because you're very close to the script so, but uh, when you are directing it, you need to be able to give it another perspective uh, other than what you were writing it. I pretty much realized that I want to be in the field of entertainment when I was about 17 years old. Uh, uh, though I'd been watching films since I was very young, almost 8 or 9 years and uh, I was sure I, uh, there's something, uh, ek entertainment ka keda hai mere mein. So, uh, I started kind of working towards entertainment uh, since the age of 18. I got into dancing, I got into doing events and stuff. And then of course, when Whistling Woods International was announced, that seemed like the next logical step to get into the field of entertainment. Uh, passion for what you're doing. You need to be extremely sincere and hardworking. Uh, you need to be extremely focused and uh, first of all, very aware of the fact that you have a good story to tell. And you have to be passionate enough and work hard enough to be able to tell that story to somebody. And I think it's really that passion which helps you translate from say an uh, assisting on a film set to be able to go and convince a producer to back you in your vision. So uh, that's how I have uh, been uh, in my journey from Whistling Woods to the industry. That passion is important and you cannot ever give up. You cannot let one or two failures uh, put you down. If you really believe you want to become a filmmaker, you, be, you need to be able to fight it out. Uh, so I think that's really important. So it'll be, I would say, courage to just hang on. And then yeah, passion. You need to want to tell a story really bad. So I think uh, for any educational institute, it's, uh, it's what it really does is it just lays the foundation of your knowledge towards films. When I came to Whistling Woods International, I had no idea about filmmaking. All I knew was that I enjoy watching movies and I want to be a part of these movies. But what uh, Whistling Woods International gave me was the technical knowledge. It also gave me a great space to just kind of go out and make the kind of movies I want. Uh, it had equipment uh, available uh, free on weekends. I used to just take the equipment, go and shoot my films, then edit uh, those films on my own. I had faculty available for guidance. Uh, and we had, the best part was we had working faculty. Uh, all our faculty members were part of the uh, film industry and they were actively part of it. So uh, all of us got the opportunity to go on film sets while we were uh, in the institute. So what that led to was when I went out for my first project, I never feel, uh, felt nervous or intimidated. Rather, I felt that I, I belonged here. Uh, and I remember that I was only one year, uh, one year into the institute when I did my first internship on Subhash uh, Ghai's Black and White. And I, not even for a moment did I feel that, oh God, this is something I cannot do. Uh, that's where I felt that the strength of the education lied, that it just prepared you for the industry. I think uh, the lessons I've learned even earlier, uh, before I became a director and through my process of shooting, that anyone who really wants to become a good director or a director for that matter needs to be a very good man-manager. You need to be able to communicate really well with everyone who is part of your unit and get the best out of them because you might have a very good vision or you might have a clear vision but if you, if you can't inspire your team to become one with that vision then it's not worth it. So you really need to be very good with communication and you really need to be able to uh, inspire and motivate people and really uh, bring them one with your own vision of the film. And I think that's really important not just as a director but anyone who wants to be part of the movies. The one thing I can only, uh, not even advise, but suggest is be really, really passionate. Uh, be really, really focused. There are going to be a lot of people who might turn around and say that we are not sure, tum ye kar paoge ki nahi. 
and you don't need to believe everybody you just need to believe in yourself and if you really want to make a movie i am sure one day you'll go out and make a movie